Today, I'm really excited to share with you my first ever shipment from PWCC. So this is one that I'm really excited to share with you. I'm really excited to get these cards. They've been sitting with them. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, so really excited to share with you what I got and how it's packaged as well and the whole experience all together. Let's get right into it. Welcome to the most passionate content for card collectors on YouTube and possibly the whole entire internet. As usual, I am your host, Jake Roy, 90s meatball cards here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, a little bit of Twitter, and uh, still a little bit of TikTok. Uh, again, we'll see how long that lasts for. So uh, today, like I said, we're going to get into my mail day from PWCC. Uh, as some of you might be surprised to hear, this is the first time I've ever used PWCC. Uh, you know, so I would, and until recently, I'd never purchased anything from them. Uh, so some of those things that I had sitting in their vault that I had purchased again recently, I was waiting until uh, some of the fees reduce, you know, all that kind of stuff. It's uh, one of the nuances of their platform. So uh, while we were the first people to do a PWCC watch party back when the you know PMG Green Jordan was being sold through PWCC on eBay, seems like a very antiquated sentence right there. <laughs> but uh, we were the first to watch it, but I have never bought from them, interestingly enough. So um, this is exciting. And like I said, uh, I'm really interested to see how the stuff is packaged. Recently, we did the same thing with Golden Auctions. Uh, we've done the same thing with all the different grading companies that I trust. So uh, I'm always interested to see how things are shipped and packaged and make sure that I'm making decisions that are gonna keep my cards safe in transit. So uh, all of that stuff, as well as what cards are in the package. So I know what's in there, but uh, this will be fun to share it with you. So let's bust right into that. All right, here we've got our box from PWCC. Uh, so, you know, two day shipping is roughly what it takes. Um, so let's, let's get right into it. You know, the deal, sharp stuff, cut away from the body. Thank you, Joe. Oh boy, packing peanuts. All right. Uh, let me get a bag or something to throw these in. All right, not too, too bad. Lots of tape, looks very reminiscent to our BGS order. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to cut this bubble wrap. Hopefully I can reuse some of it for packaging, but uh, not all of it with all that tape on the front. Looks like it's gonna be easier to go through this side. Ah, uh, yes. A big guy. So this first one's a fun one. Fun one for me anyway. So this is one, the grade really doesn't matter. So this is the Silky Smooth of Iverson. Uh, so I've seen these slabbed closed. I've seen them slabbed open. Um, I've also seen some people cut this part off. I don't know why in the world you would do that, but I have seen it done. So um, yeah, I thought this was neat because it, I haven't seen them in PSA slab slabbed open. The ones I've seen open are BGS. So I don't know if you need to put in a special request to have it, but um, not something I'm gonna necessarily do with mine. But since I saw it and it was, you know, pretty inexpensive, um, you know, less than you can typically find a raw copy for, um, you know, to six. So it's not in great shape, but these typically, you know, aren't in good shape. But I thought it was cool having it slabbed like this, something a little bit different. And uh, yeah, I wanted it. Good price, cool stuff. Uh, I don't know what order these will be in. All right, uh, yeah, okay, so we've got three CSG cards here. So this first one is, you can see Carrie Kittle's on the front, you can see, or this is the back, you can see it's a refractor, Penny is the one on the front. So we've got the uh, mystery finest of Penny and Kittle's in a refractor in a CSG 9. So this is straight PC, um, one I didn't have, and uh, yeah, 
and nine it's in good shape so happy to get that and again there's another one that was less than <laughs> i can get a raw copy for not the same story here with this one but we've got an iverson fleer rookie in a csg 10 you know i just thought it was cool uh to get one of these cards because it's very nostalgic you know i had plenty of this <laughs> card so to get it in good shape because uh the ones i have uh, are not and same story here we've got the uh, 96 hoops rookie of iverson same story with that fleer just a super nostalgic card for myself uh getting in good shape uh you know like i said these were more expensive than a raw copy as you'd expect but not a, a ton not a, not a significant markup uh for it being in good shape like that so like i said those are just straight pc not like i'm gonna you know try to sub them to psa and flip or anything like that that's not why i got stuff All right, so here we've got an electrifying and a PSA 9. Uh, so funny story with this, you've seen you know, no shortage of this card on my channel. Uh, so this is one that I actually purchased before I had submitted the raw copies that I had, uh, or I have. Uh, so I've got uh, a few copies and a PSA 9 and one and an SGC 9. So, um, you know, I was, I was hunting for, you know, seeing if I could get nines or tens on mine. I got all nines. That's all right. Uh, this is a cool one. I had a raw, or I have a raw copy. Getting it in a PSA nine for my collection is something I'm always happy to do. Uh, the gallery of heroes, you know, these got really popular when the the stained glass from Panini started popping up. But you know, they're die cut, they're acetate. Uh, so I I bought my raw copy of Kevin Garnett. You know, probably at the at the peak of where it was at. Maybe a little bit lower, but I think it was probably like forty dollars or so. And I think that this card was about the same as what I paid for for the raw copy. So happy to get it in good shape, uh, you know, slab protected. I think it's nice like that. Here we've got a uh, EXL Natural Born Thrillers of Penny. Again, this is a PSA nine. This is a copy that I have had a PSA nine before. Uh, somebody asked about it, so I kept my raw copy and I, I traded the PSA nine to them. So now I've got a PSA nine once again. Happy to have that. These are really cool. You know, these were again nostalgic cards. They're all nostalgic for me. But um, the funny story with these, actually, I'd seen pictures of them obviously in the Beckett. Um, and after I knew about, obviously, the game jersey, this looked kind of like a game jersey in uh, some of the pictures, so I wondered, like, not like I thought it was a game-worn jersey, but if they had, like, a jersey material back there or what it was, because uh, I hadn't had one in hand, so um, just one of those things that I had always wondered if they had done kind of a neat thing to put some, you know, just blank jersey material behind the card, but that's that's not the case. Uh, still a cool-looking card, but a lot of fun memories there. And this one... You see we've got Damon Stoudemire on the back. You can see Refractor, kind of like that Kerry Kittles. You've got Penny on the front. Refractor, again, this is a CSG9. Uh, and again, this is a copy that I had gotten mine graded after I had already gotten this. So mine ended up getting a PSA 9. So, you know, what I'll probably do is, uh, you know, see if there's anybody that needs a copy. And if they prefer either one, then, uh, you know, they'll both be available. I don't need two copies. Uh, but typically people prefer the PSA 9 over the CSG 9. So I'll, I'll be happy to keep the CSG in my collection. So that's what I got uh, retrieved from the vault. Really happy to have these in hand. I know some people prefer to keep them at the vault. That is not my preference. I like to have them, enjoy them, hold them. All that kind of good stuff so that's what we got all right uh so that's the package that's uh what we got <laughs> i don't love all those packaging peanuts uh but they definitely keep them safe and then you know all the bubble wrap and then uh, in the envelopes definitely uh no shortage of safety precautions there to make sure everything is in good shape when it arrives so that's uh that's good to see but got to dispose of those package peanuts <laughs> that's the, that's the bane of my existence whenever i get something with those uh you know so a lot of fun cards again these are pc cards uh so you know nothing to get too uh crazy about if you dm me and ask me if i'm selling anything the answer is almost definitely going to be no <laughs> but the one that i was really excited the most excited about was that iverson silky smooth uh that is just such a cool card to me uh one of those cards again as a kid i just dreamt of what it would look like after seeing just the black and white pictures in the beckett uh and then after seeing them slabbed years and years later i always wanted to get one that was slabbed 
kind of folded out. So uh, now I have one, really happy to have that, as well as the Penny and an Iverson that I leave raw, uh, you know, kind of left folded together. So that's the way they came in the packs. That's the way I leave them, uh, with the exception of that one that slapped. So that was the one that was the big highlight for me. Uh, and really the reason that I was waiting <laughs> to get this stuff shipped as soon as that one was available again with those reduced fees, uh, I got that stuff shipped out. So, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about that, but one of the nuances, one of the quirks of the PWCC platform is uh, they have additional fees if you want to ship it to yourself as opposed to having it in their vault. And after I believe it's six months, and maybe it's three months, somewhere around there, um, you know, those fees reduce to just 1%. So once those reduce, that's when I ship the stuff. So um, that's kind of my story, <laughs> like having the cards in my hand. Some people love having them uh, somewhere else so they don't have to, uh, you know, manage it on their, uh, in their own space. But that's not my cup of tea. So uh, that's what we got. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts about this experience, your thoughts about the cards, all that kind of stuff. If you've bought from PWCC, if you've been able to find some deals uh, and, you know, all the, all the thoughts we shared, I'd love to hear your thoughts on those as well. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos in the future. New videos dropping once, sometimes twice a week. We've got looks into my PC, occasional grading reveals, 90s pack openings, occasional collector interviews, sometimes some show vlog type stuff, and so much more. Thanks. We'll talk later.